Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am scrapbooking with a foot selfie of some Snoopy Vans that I uh, purchased. And then I have this really old sheet of paper from Sandy Lion uh, sticker designs way back from 2004. And look, I got a deal, 10 cents on clearance. Um, I actually have two sheets of this paper, but I'm just gonna use one today. So let's see what I can do. All right, so I have this shimmering sand paste from Brutus Monroe, and I thought that I would place it on my paper and have kind of this shimmery white background. But then I realized I was gonna to have to put a lot more product on what this thin, thin paper could handle. So I'm still, I'm still going for it. Charles trying to get some shimmer going on here. And then I decide that that's not working. And I go and I reach for my Velveteen Glaze and I'm going to mix the Velveteen Glaze with the Shimmer Sand Paste and I'm thinking, okay, this, this will work. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out because, you know, the Velveteen Glaze is a matte glaze when it dries and the Sand Paste is supposed to have a shimmer. So I'm like, I'm, I'm doing opposites attract here and I'm not exactly sure what's going on. And I just keep adding more and more and more and more product to this super thin paper. Remember, this is from Sandy Lion Sticker Designs in 2004. So it is super, super, super thin paper. Now, I remember buying this paper at Joann's and I remember it, you know, thinking, wow, 10 cents for a sheet of paper. That is such a freaking deal. And I bought two. Uh, because back then, I bought two all the time. Uh, because I thought that my albums had to have a double page spread uh, no matter what. Like, they they had to be a spread. I've since evolved on my album uh, and page philosophy, but back then, I surely believed that. So I realized that I was getting way too much product on this piece of paper. So I decided to scrape it all off and just have that light a little bit of red color. So I go to my art journal because now I've mixed the shimmer stand paste and the velveteen glaze together and I don't know how it's going to last in the tub long term. So I just decide, you know what? I am going to grab my art journal. I'm going to grab uh, the first stencil that I see and that was the all-star stencil. And you guys, this is probably my favorite stencil ever. Um, and not just because it's the one that I designed, um, but I just really, really love working with stars and I just love the stencil. So I went ahead and used up the little bit of stuff that I had and that will dry. It's actually off to the side drying now and that will eventually be a completed art journal page. Uh, so I go back to my project over here and as you guys know, I'm kind of into the tool right now as a layer. Um, I never really got into the tissue paper as a layer too much, um, but tool, it's definitely turning into a thing. Definitely turning into a thing. Um, so I am just trimming down this uh, six by six paper uh, just so I can have a white border around my photo. I trim down the tool a little bit and then I'm going to staple the tool to the, uh, what is this, the paper here. So I just staple that on there and then I'm going to add this little piece of fun foam here so that it'll pop up. I really like the effect of having the tool popped up um, on my layouts. It gives it a little bit of height along with that texture. And even though it is a super small amount of height, it just it just adds to it and I, I love it. So I do add my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I'm going to um, figure out how I want to get this layout kind of designed now. Um, it's still, still kind of in my head of what I'm thinking. Um, a little bit different just because I don't have that white color. Um, I was going to treat that white color uh, shimmer sand paste uh, as a large matte back here, but since it's since it's just a darker red, 
um, I'm, I'm just kind of building this as like my base layer. Like this is where I'm going to build. So I have these down here and I picked the gray and the blue because I wanted a little bit of contrast and I figured that um, it was contrasting, but it also went with the photo. Now a yellow also would have contrasted with the red and the black and the white, but then I feel like I would have been going a little bit too Disney-esque and don't wanna do that when I am doing some Snoopy. You know what I'm saying? So I am pulling up my uh, layers because you know I'm a top down scrapper most of the time and I'm layering this uh, banner under here now I do mess and futz around with this a little bit because I want it to be straight I want the banner and the black and white paper to be straight the other little guys not really concerned now that black and white polka dot paper is a slimline uh, panel from Brutus Monroe they sell a rainbow dot, um, so you know, all the colors of the rainbow, and I don't make that many cards, let alone slimline cards, so I really find that they're a great size and shape for scrapbooking. I am gonna do that doodly border around the outside of this banner piece, just because I felt like it needed something to contain it. Um, I do have white layered on white here, but the tool is between that. Um, I'm not. I'm not really concerned about it. So I was explaining something to Lana. She had walked in the room, which is why my finger twirled a little bit. Now I'm just going to grab some embellishments, and I pulled these old gossamer blue ones, and I'm pulling some of the red ones. So I have the fun banner. I also have the little heart uh, circle here. And I'm going to layer that on top of my photo. And since my photo is up on Fun Foam, uh, I'm going to grab a little foam square and place it under there so that it doesn't wobble. I decide to go with one more chipboard banner and place it down here that says one of a kind. So now I have these three chipboard banners down a line on my page. I was thinking about bringing in some red letters to fit here on this banner. Uh, but it really was too small, so I decided to go with these red letters, and they are from Chamel's Field Trip. And I'm putting them up here over top of the black and white dots. Now, these letters do come with blue on one side and red on one side, but I just combined my red ones, put them together, combined my blue ones, put them together. Um, because I do store my letter thickers in rainbow order. Um, it just makes sense to me because when I think about a thicker, I don't think about size, style, or shape. I really just think about what color letters I want, so I grab for color. Um, then I pull these uh, little tiny square stickers from Teresa Collins. They are pretty old as well, and I just wrote uh, or placed down the stickers that said O. Oh, so, oh, Snoopy. And it's titled, oh, Snoopy, uh, because I sing, oh, Snoopy, um, a lot. And it's bad. I sing it. I sing it very poorly and proudly. And, um, yeah, there it is. So, I did pull this um, Simple Stories Brad. Um, it's a Brad without the tines. And it has a shoe on it. Now, it more kind of looks like a Converse shoe. Um, other than a Vans shoe, which is what I'm wearing, but I figured, you know what, it's a shoe. It's gonna work. So now I'm just trying to figure out what other little things I'm going to add. I decided to go with these blue uh, tiny phrase stickers, and they say things like hooray and happiness, and I just made sure that the hooray only overlapped the white paper and the polka dot paper, and then that the happiness only overlapped, overlapped the gray and the black and white paper. I am going to add some journaling here over uh, where I originally I thought my title was going to be. And I'm talking about the fun shoes and how when I saw them at the outlet, uh, I just had to have them. It's pretty funny because I'm pretty sure Alex has the Woodstock uh, shoes. And then when I saw these and they had Snoopy's dog house on them, I was like, oh my goodness, I need these in my life. 
um, plus the red really helps out so I can wear them uh, to work. I don't wear them an awful lot because there is a lot of white on the shoe and I don't want to, you know, trash them. So there it is, a close-up of the shoe and some other things. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you again real soon for another video.